Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord? Well, come on, let's prepare our hearts and our minds for Moed Shalraga, the appointed time of refreshing. Ooh, 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 the appointed time of refreshing. It's time for the word, the word of God. Time to be blessed and refreshed. For in his presence, it's fullness of joy, 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 joy at his right hand. Pleasures forevermore, Moet Shalaraga, Moet Shalaraga, Moet Shalaraga, the appointed time of refreshing. I'm gonna abide in him, let his words abide in me. I'll ask what I will, and it shall be done, done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth and in my life. As it is in heaven, in heaven. I want to know the heart of God, the voice of God. I want to know what's on his mind. Oh, man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word. That proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Ba 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 da 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 The word of the Lord is coming from Romans chapter 15, verse 13. I'm reading from the King James Version. And it says, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Life Application Bible says it this way. So I pray that God who gives you hope, will keep you happy and full of peace as you believe in him. May you overflow with hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. My dearly beloved, my dear brothers, my dear sisters, sons of God, this is my prayer for you today, that God would fill you with his hope. He is the one that gives hope and that you would be continually happy, joyful, and full of peace.
peace as you believe in God. Not believe in this world system, not believe in the social media, not believing in your friends and family. You, you can believe in them, but I mean putting your full trust and your hope. Believe in him. Who's him? In God, the God of your salvation, the creator of the universe. Hallelujah. As you believe in him, he is the one that fills you up with hope and he fills you up with joy and fills you up with peace. But it only comes as you allow him to fill you up. But you got to believe in him. You got to believe in him. So let me read that again. Now I pray. This is my prayer. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope. Abound. That means you stay in, you reside, you live in hope. How? Through the power of the Holy Ghost. Listen. When you know who you are serving, you know your daddy, and you know the word of God, the Holy Spirit will bring up into your remembrance. He'll bring all things so that you remember the word of God. Because when you're going through a trial, you, you can't muster up anything on your own, but the Holy Ghost, the power through the Holy Spirit, he will bring all things to your remembrance. That even though you may go through the fire, he will bring up the scripture, the word of God, and remind you of the God of your salvation. But again, whatever you're putting in, is that's what's going to come out. So read the word of God. Pray. Speak to your daddy. I'm telling you, this is the time to fill up on the word of God. Fill up on prayer. Fill up on worship. Fill up. Because we get empties, we can be depleted. But if you stay in the presence of God, hallelujah, it is God who will continually give you hope. It is God who will continue to fill you with peace, fill you with joy, but you have to stay in his presence. Hallelujah. That's what Moed Sharaga is all about. From Acts 3, 19, it talks about in the presence of God will be many refreshings. So I pray that you grab hold on to the word. Grab hold to the word of God today. Knowing that God, as we believe in God, he's filling us with hope. He's filling us up, hallelujah, with joy. And filling us up with peace. So much so that we will overflow and we can bless our neighbors. And they could look at our lives and say, I want to serve the God you're serving or what's different about you? Because in the situation that we are in, in this world, we're in this world, but we're not of this world. We know that we have a home not made by human hands. We know that we have a different home, that we are seated in heavenly places, that this is just a, 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 not even a vacation, but this is, it's, it's not our home. We're just here on assignment. So get to complete your assignment. Don't let it be an F or an I incomplete. I want to complete everything that God has for me to do. That is my determination and that is my heart's desire. How about you, son of God? The only way we're going to be able to accomplish it is to continue believing in our God and allowing him to fill us up with hope allowing him to fill us up with peace and happiness and joy. Joy, not just happiness, but joy. Joy is the, that emotion, that feeling that we get. Hallelujah. That it doesn't matter if chaos is around us, we can still have joy in the midst of a storm. Remember, joy is an option. I have to choose joy. But God will fill us with joy and he will fill us with peace as we believe in him. So he'll fill us with peace, joy, and hope. Come on, let's pray. Father, 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 we come before you today thanking you, praising you, glorifying your name because you are so wonderful. 
God, we thank you for your word today that tells us that you will fill us with hope and you will fill us with your joy and your peace. And we know that weeping may endure for a night, but we know joy is coming in the morning. So Father, we love you. We bless you. We adore you. We thank you because you are dependable. You are immutable. You change not. You're the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. So Father, we love you. We bless you. We adore you. We lift you. Your name is high above all other names. Your name is high above cancer. Your name is high above sugar diabetes. Your name is higher than heart attacks. Your name is higher than sciatic nerve pain. Your name is higher, hallelujah, than everything. So we lift your name high in all the earth. Your name high in all the earth. Hallelujah. We bless you. We adore you. We confess our faults before you. We realize that none is righteous, but we accept you as Jehovah Sikhanu, the Lord God, our righteousness. So Father, work in us, work through us. We are clay in your hands. Mold us, make us, shape us, break out every mar, every blemish, every crack, every stain. Father, we ask that you would work in us and through us. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that lives inside of our lives. We thank you for the power and authority you've given us here on this earth to multiply, to be fruitful, to subdue, to replenish, and to have dominion. You've given us power over every creeping thing on this earth, Lord. So we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor that you have made us more than conquerors. We thank you. We bless you because we always succeed. We always triumph through Christ Jesus. So thank you. Thank you for empowering us. Thank you for equipping us. Thank you for using us for your glory. Thank you so much for allowing us to house your Holy Spirit, to have the Holy Spirit to inhabit our bodies, to live inside of us. Thank you so very much. Father, it is our desire to make you proud. It is our desire to please you. It is our desire to walk in the spirit. So Holy Spirit, teach us how to walk in the supernatural, how to walk in the spirit. We understand that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. He is the door. He's the way. So Father, teach us how to go in and take those things in the spirit and bring them into the natural realm that we will be able to accomplish your work, accomplish everything that you have set our hands to, that you have predetermined us to do. God, we say yes to your will, yes to your way, yes to everything that you say. We agree with your word. We believe your report. We believe you. Our trust and faith is in you, Father. We thank you that miracle signs and wonders follow our lives because we believe you are the author and finisher of our faith and you will perfect those things that concern us. So Father, we put ourselves in your hand. We cast all our cares upon you. We know that you care for us. We know that you love us. Thank you for being our refuge. Thank you for being our fortress, our strength. Thank you for the name of Jesus that we can run in it and are saved. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you for every gift that you've placed in our lives. Father, we thank you for spiritual clarity. Thank you for clarity, precision, that we will not err, but we will walk after you. We will follow with you, follow after your word, follow you. We chase hard for you, Lord. We are desperate for you. We need you. We crown you as Lord, Master, Savior, and King of our lives. And because you are our Lord, we are your kingdom. We are the kingdom of God. And we bring the kingdom of heaven everywhere we go. Pushing back the darkness. God, we thank you. We give you glory for being the light inside of us. Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. We thank you. We thank you that when the enemy comes in, like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord lifts up a standard against it. So Father, we just thank you. Thank you that your word tells us that beloved above all you would that we would prosper, be in health even as our soul does prosper. So we decree and declare and agree with heaven that our souls are fat and flourishing. They are prosperous. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us spiritual eyesight, for sharpening our discerning of spirits, Father, that we would discern the signs of the time, Lord God. We love you. We bless you. We adore you. We thank you that the joy of the Lord is our strength. We thank you that as we wait on you, we are mounting up with wings as eagles. We are running and not being weary. We walk and not faint. 
God, we thank you. We adore you. We bless you. We cover our families in the blood of Jesus, our children in the blood of Jesus. We decree that as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. Oh God, you are so worthy. We ascribe honor and glory. Dominion and power is yours. God, you are Lord and Savior, Master and King. We love you. Father, synchronize our hearts with yours, that we will walk in tandem with you, that we will follow and we will hear your voice clearly, that we will understand, Lord God, and understand and discern when you're speaking to us, that we will speak what you say in the name of Jesus Christ. God, we love you. We bless you. We thank you now for joy. Thank you for hope. Thank you for peace. Thank you, Lord, that you could do anything but fail. Thank you, Lord, for fighting for us. You are Jehovah Gabor, the God that fights for us. Thank you that we can stand sit still and see the salvation of our God. Father, open up our eyes that we will not see men as trees, but we will see clearly. Ah, oh, God, we thank you. We bless you. We adore you. We lift you. We magnify you, God. There's nobody like you. You are the greatest. There's no one better or greater than you. You are the true living God, the only wise God, our Savior, our majesty. We love you. We adore you. We love you so very much and we appreciate you, all you've done in our lives, what you're doing now and what you're going to do. Father, we say yes to your will and yes to your way. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Mashiach, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So I pray that God, God who gives you hope, will keep you happy, joyous, and full of peace as you believe in him as you believe in God may you overflow with hope through the power of the Holy Ghost overflow overflow Overflow, overflow with hope given by God. Mm, overflow, 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 overflow with hope given by God. Well, beloved. This has been Moed Shilraga, the appointed time of refreshing. I pray that you've been blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. Shalom.